SEGA EVP inherits from a 10-year-old PC title, which was very kind of heavily multiplayer focused. There's a big console audience out there now that kind of demands, expects uh, an interesting story, an interesting single-player campaign, and it's been a great experience to put such a thing together for them. It also provides a very good grounding for the multiplayer. You learn all the skills that you are really going to need when you get out there against masters of alien predator marine. You get the chance to go into deathmatch, species deathmatch, mixed species team play. Um, we've got a forum player cooperative mode called Survivor. As a fan, you instantly recognise. You know the, the settings are very familiar. The characters obviously are recognisable. You, the sounds. You hear an alien hissing over your shoulder. You turn around and then you, you chump. Today has been mostly about sneaking up on people and then biting them through the head. Lots of killing, lots of stealth, uh, and lots of getting towels put through your chest from behind. The last thing we played was um, Predator Hunt. So it's basically a um, bunch of marines, one guy gets to be the predator, take him out, then you become the predator. It's kind of a little bit unfair because you've got eight marines or seven marines on one predator chasing him down, but of course he's got the cloaking technology, so basically it's a bunch of guys running around doing this, and then uh, from behind. Yeah, the predators obviously takes a, a bit more strategy, you can tell, he's got a lot of gadgets, um, he can cloak, he can jump around, and you can generally be a bit more clever about your strategy. It's survival of the fittest, so you should be looking over your shoulder, you know, are you right there, man, man there, okay? The Marine has to be very careful of things sneaking up behind him, because from the front he's got, he's got machine guns, he's got shotguns, very sort of 180 degrees to the front, he's very powerful, but from behind, again, like they, when they're snuck up on they they usually decapitated. All three races, I would say, they're linked. You've got to be very, very careful. You have to be very aware of the weaknesses of your character. The thing that made it fundamentally different, and still does, are the three species. And everything came from that. Really, as much as it being a strong game, it's a strong uh, cinematic experience. Yeah, it's a strong brand experience. It's, it's quite a scary game, because a moment's weakness will definitely expose you in ways that other games don't really reach. You know, talk to a few people and the response is generally like, oh, this, is, this is bleeping awesome, this is really good.